How come? Prom night has all the ingredients of a tragedy. Take a couple of teenagers, throw in a bottle of scotch lifted from dead. And for money, they play very hard indeed. Panic, William. Your body clock just stopped again. What? This is the third time in a fortnight. You make Rip Van Winkle seem like a workaholic. I'm sorry, Mr. McClellan. The past few weeks, I've, I've not been sleeping well at night. How can you expect to sleep at night? You do so much of it during the day. <laughs> if I catch you at it again, I'll have you put to sleep permanently. Then stuffed and mounted with your eyes open. <laughs> that way, at least you'll give the illusion of being awake. I get just as much work out of you as I do now. William, William, that's it. The bedtime story is over. Get out. Oh. Take the chair with you. <laughs> What's up with him? Did somebody eat his last roll? <laughs> you don't know, Willie. He even snapped at me when I asked after Mrs. McClelland. Well, there you are, Brian. It must be serious if he's snapping at his favourite toady. <laughs> he just can't come to terms with Mrs. McClellan being pregnant. I don't know why. I mean, I can see McClellan as a father. Really? Well, I can hear him. Son, when you grow up, I want you to have everyone I never had. <laughs> they better not catch you sleeping again. Look, I only meant to have 20 weeks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you very much. You were supposed to call ten minutes ago. Who was that? My alarm call. when I was your best man. Oh, why? Trust me. And a best man. Just a wedding I didn't have. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, yeah? Willie, this is Monsieur de Stel. Ah, <laughs> pleased to meet you, Sasha. My mum's got all your better. <laughs> Monsieur de Stel and Madame de Stel <laughs> and the Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> For the garden festival. Lovely. Yeah, and looking for cheap accommodation. Oh! Oh, no. I don't want any lodgers, Chancellor. I haven't got the space. You don't think it much room, Willie. They're a very close family. They just need a wee bit floor for their palliasses. I will say this only once. Forget it. <laughs> Channel down to the boss. <laughs> Willie, what is Glasgow full of right now? I don't know, but I know what you're full of, though. <laughs> Tourists, half of them we know what to say. I've placed dozens of them already for a fee. It's a gold mine. Aye, but your gold mines have a habit of falling in on my head. I'm sorry, Chancellor, I said none. Oh, Willie, come Out on. Out Peterson to the cells. Out <laughs> Peterson. <laughs> Uvry La Potty, or Reservoir, who wants to make your feet, Sasha? Hi, or Reservoir, wait, the van still was split. Well, that's very nice, Willie. What will they think? What about the common market, eh? 
What about NATO? Never mind NATO. No vacancies, in fact. <laughs> And I want my key back and all. And my wedding ring. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. <laughs> Dear Mr. Melvin, blah, blah, blah. Returning your latest short story, blah, blah, blah. Puerile rubbish. <laughs> Puerile rubbish. <laughs> Cheeky prick. Well, the joke's on you. I don't even know what puerile means. <laughs> puerile. <laughs> Do you call it puerile? I'm not a failure. I'm not a failure. Did I get you up? <laughs> Good. I've been up since five o'clock, you know. Don't let that worry you. Sign that. What is it? <laughs> Eagle Books. <gasps> Eagle Books! It's from Eagle Books. Oh, right. <laughs> That's a vanity press. You see, I'm a writer. <laughs> I've written a new book and I'm paying for Eagle Books to publish it. Oh, aye. Lucky for some. Well, stick your autograph on there, McGonagall. <laughs> McGonagall. <laughs> Do you know what's in this? Fifty copies of my new novel, My Childhood Up A Close. Aye. Uh, <laughs> Fifty copies in all the other boxes and all. Other boxes? Aye. Got nine more of them downstairs in the van. <laughs> nine. <laughs> well, yes, I do have a complaint. For a start, there is a misprint on the very first page. It says, A Naval by William Melvin. <laughs> Aye, but it's a novel, not a naval. I didn't slave over a hot typewriter for a month to become the author of a Glasgow belly button. <laughs> I want to speak to the man in charge. Get me Mr. Ego. <laughs> I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Willie, I've been thinking. Do you know why McClellan's been acting so grouchy lately? Haven't a clue, Brian. Maybe there's been a full moon. <laughs> I think he's worried about getting old. This baby is a sign that he's over the hill. Probably just needs reassuring. Maybe I can help. Janice had this face cream that made her look ten years younger. How? Oh. It gave her plucks. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Eagle. Oh, well, you'll do. Yes. I want to know what cretin sent me 500 copies of my book instead of the 50 I ordered. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Mr. McClellan, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. <clears throat> Goodness. I thought you were having an attack. Don't be ridiculous, Brian. <clears throat> I was doing a few exercises, that's all. Toning up my facial muscles. <clears throat> Mr. McClelland, you don't need to do that. You're in wonderful condition for a man you...